Hello friend, this is Sopnil and welcome to learn SAP ABAP. App. So in this session, we are going to see how to use the event handler method in the SAP ABAP App, object oriented programming. Okay, so the event handler method can be used in the same class by declaring the event and the handler method with the triggering method. Okay, so today we are going to see the event with the handler method in the same class and in the upcoming session, we are going to see an event handler method with the different classes. Okay, so let's go to our system to see all this thing practically. Uh, but wait uh, if you are the first time on my channel or you still didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn is be a now we will define a class okay so here class uh, class event okay definition and here I will end class okay so friend we will tell you what is of uh, means what is the event in SAP in the, let's I'm going to the SA24 transaction so in SA24 transaction as you can see this is our class GA table ID okay this is a standard uh, class okay so in this standard class as you can see uh, SAP has provided some functionality okay in the forms of this of events okay so you can see here yeah, different different Tabs like in your interface, friends, attributes, method. Okay, but as you can see here, we have an event, and in this event, we have the SAP has provided different different event. Okay, for us. So let's suppose we have to you know achieve one of the functionality for our custom program. So we are you know uh, we are just uh, we need to just uh, implement the uh, event handler method. Okay, so so that we can uh, achieve this for we can uh, you know use the standard functionality provided by SAP. Okay, so this is a uh, nothing but they have defined some event. Okay so the same thing we are going to say but i'm not going to explain you regarding to this one but i will give you some basic idea how you can implement the even how you can write the event handler method okay so that you whenever you will try to implement any logic for the event handler so that it will be helpful for you okay so now what you we are going to create one custom we are going to create one define one class in this class we are going to define a event okay and we will see how we can implement it okay? so here uh, what i will do i will first define a public section public section here i will use the variable data equal variable text type i will use the char 50 okay then what i will do uh, here i will use the method uh, here i will uh, define the event okay so what is the event so here i will do event one and then i will use event two okay i have defined the event okay and here i will use the method so the method I will use a method trigger one trigger one okay and here I will use second method trigger two okay okay so now okay I have defined uh, two area okay and here we have we want we need an event handler method okay so what i will do that i will event event handler one okay and here i will define method event handler two okay so now what we have done uh, we have defined one variable in which we have declared two variable in the class okay Two, uh, sorry two events in a class okay and we have this two method okay this is the method one this is a triggering one method this is a trigger two method and this is the event handler as of now we have not defined any method as a event handler method okay we have just made you the naming convention as event handler okay so now what i will do i will just write the implementation okay okay so here i will write class so here what is our class, class event implementation and here i will use end class okay so I'll, first of all i will just try to you know implement some logic here uh, try to implement this method okay at the uh, class sorry here i will use method trigger one and method similarly i will i will copy this the another method also method two okay same i will copy for the third one as well here for the two more time 
this one and this one okay so here i will use the event handler here i will use event handler two. okay okay so now here i will write i will use a variable different variable here okay so a little bit text there i will some assign some text here okay so here i will use first event is being triggered okay and here i what i will do uh right will be text okay it will be text okay post will be trigger okay and here i will just copy the same in the second one also so second okay and here i will also copy and i will also copy here for the code method here i will run first event handler method is executing okay and here i will use second event handler method is executing executing okay and here i will use the second second what is being triggered okay so uh okay so as of now what we have done uh we have just uh, uh defined the uh two event and here have just written the method method event event handler okay we have just defined the method as a normal method okay we still we have not defined any method as a event handler method okay and we have just write it in here implementation part okay so that it is easy to understand how we can you know assign it as a uh, so we can create the event handler method okay so now what i will do here i will write start of selection okay and here what i will do create sorry here i will use data obj type refer to type refer to cl what is our class name you want okay event and here i will write create create object class one okay action and activate okay check and activate so now what i will do you know what i will what i will do uh, so as you can see uh, we have just defined the uh, two events and year method and the event method okay but now what we have to we have to just you know define a event handler method so now as you can see the event handler method so how to define event handler method so here we have to write for event 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 one of of this the name of the class one that's okay and here also uh, the second one also for event then the uh, the second event handler uh, second event is of this class event okay check and activate okay so, so now when does now this two is a event handler method okay so whenever you will implement you have to achieve any function to an event handler so you have to you know just define the method as a event handler method okay so now we have defined this method as a event handler okay but how to uh, okay and now here start of selection here we have to just set the handler as a register into that set handler to register event handler method okay so set handler so what i will do i will just use the take a from the obj obj set handler set handler and here i will use uh, what is the event handler method of what name of the event handler method set one for the object name okay same for the another one also we are registering the event handler method okay by using this statement 
so here I will use the obj method handler to for for obj okay and what I will do is I will just call method obj which method here I will just call the sorry method underscore trigger one and you know on method obj object reference md underscore trigger two okay trigger two but now okay so now as you can see here uh, we have defined a method so we have defined a two uh, so you can see here in this in this class we have defined a two events okay here there are two events so we have to add to the add functionality we have to use the function of this event so you know we have defined more uh, method as a event handler method okay uh, how we are defined using the for event uh, event uh, event ev event one which is nothing but this uh, defined event and for of class cl event is nothing but this in this class okay this this class we have defined here okay and here we are you know uh, we have just registered the event handler method using the set handler uh, the set handler object method uh, which method for this object okay because you have created a reference variable for this class okay and here we are going to but in this trigger one what we have to do here in this trigger one you can see here trigger one so this trigger one here what i will do i will use the race here we have to raise event so you know trigger this event handler method raise event so here i will use what is our event event one okay so here i will use event one and here and in this uh, trigger two so here i will use raise event event two okay so that's it check and activate okay check and activate okay so now what i will do i will just try to execute this program okay so let me do one thing here what i will do here i will write one skip statement uh, not the here here i will write one skip statement now we'll show you how we do once we call this method empty empty trigger one so the control will go to this empty trigger one in this trigger one so first it will execute this statement first event is being triggered and in this we have this raise event as a event one so you can see event one so it will you know execute this event handler method so we raise event in this and this event handler method okay you know so and then we will get first event method is uh, executing so first event is being triggered then we will get the first event handler method is executing and the same thing we have the second method as a method empty trigger uh, empty uh, trigger two okay so control will go here empty trigger two and in which uh, we have we have defined as a uh, you have to as a second event is being triggered and we have here we have used the race event okay race event event two it is nothing but uh here it is nothing but this uh, it will execute this one okay race event okay so uh, raise event okay so this raise event will work this raise event uh statement will work when we have a raise event statement will work when we have you know uh, just register this um uh, uh, event handler method using the set handler okay if okay so now i will show you in a debugger how it will work okay? so i will put a debugger over here and if i will execute so now you can see uh, the empty trigger one okay so if i will press f5 so it will it will go inside an empty trigger one so here we have first event is being triggered so then it will print this and you can see the raise event event one so if i will execute so you can see the event handler one okay enter and it will print this one so now once control is come out from control will go out from here menu now it you can see this method will trigger a method two so in this method uh, we have this second event is being triggered so it will print this and you can see the raise event event 2 okay so if i will click raise event so you can see the uh, now it is inside this uh, second event handler method okay this is a second event handler method so if, we, if i will press effect so now you can see the output first event is being clicker uh, first uh, event uh, handler method is executing second event okay so okay so this is the way uh, you can use you know the you can uh, implement the launching as per your for as per the for, uh, as per the requirement okay for the uh, uh, the event okay whatever we have available in the classes okay in the standard classes and all okay
okay uh, so this is uh, let me show you one more thing if i will just let suppose if i will uncomment if i will comment this and if i will try to execute once again so now you can see uh, sorry uh, we go again here go to statement so here uh, you can see the first event is been triggered okay so now you can see the raise event okay so it is not going it is not going to execute this uh, event handler method why because we have you know come to that set handler okay so if i will press f5 so you can see it didn't wait uh, it didn't execute it didn't execute the that event handler method so same thing will happen for this trigger too here as you can see the mid the raise event will not uh, execute the event handler method okay why because see now you can see the first event will be triggered and the second event is been triggered okay this now why because here we have we have commented this so if i will uncomment this and execute once again so we will get the proper output now this effect so you can see the output okay so i hope uh, uh, if you like this video if you have any doubt then please write in the comment section okay if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learningcpiapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out